Hello, I'm the Godless Engineer. Today I want to talk to you about this Virginia-based uh, Christian group, which, I don't know, they kind of seem pretty hate groupy to me. They're embarking on a 40-day journey of praying to end marriage equality. And just how the fuck do they plan on doing it? Well, just because uh, they're using logic and reason and shit, they're gonna starve themselves. They're gonna starve themselves and they're gonna pray. Because, you know, praying has always just worked out in the past. There, there's no way that it, that it has the same probability as chance. So, they're embarking on this journey starting August 27th and running through October 5th. And you may be asking yourselves, why the fuck are they so concerned now? Why didn't they try to do this before? Is natural selection really going to win out this time? The, the, the problem that they have is on April 11th, the Attorney General for Virginia, uh, through his support behind the federal ruling that says that the ban on gay marriage is un unconstitutional. He said that... Uh, same-sex marriages should have the same ability to get married as interracial couples. I have to say, the fact that he compared it to interracial couples is a whole other problem uh, that probably deserves its own video. You've got to wonder whether or not uh, this is actually going to have any kind of effect. I mean, it's already getting media attention, so it's had that effect. But I wonder if there's some uh, attempts at this in the past. When same-sex marriage became legal in Utah, people immediately reacted. Couples stormed county clerk buildings. State attorneys tried to stop it. And Treston Meekum started fasting. I'm very disappointed. For the past 12 days, Meekum hasn't eaten anything. He's surviving solely on water and an occasional vitamin. You can start a blog and you can complain on social networks until you're blue in the face and nothing will happen. But actions speak louder than words and I'm taking action. The courts are not the supreme arbiters of what is and what is not constitutional. The states also have power. Scordis says nullification doesn't work here. When the federal government grants someone a constitutional right, the states must recognize it. They can end this tomorrow. They don't have to go through legal court battles and waste our money. They can end it tomorrow with the act of nullification. So this guy, Treston, he actually ended up giving up just at the very first sign of somebody trying to stop a, a gay marriage uh, ban lift. So the question is, did it really have an effect on their decision? Like, were they really concerned this guy's going to starve if we don't uh, prevent all these uh, same-sex couples from having the same fucking rights as other people? Now, I've taken a lot of shit on my page because I like to promote marriage equality. And it's not just marriage equality that I support. I support all forms of equality. But my guess is, is that the fact that he was starving himself to prevent people from being happy had very little to no effect on the deciding parties as to whether or not to put that hold on it. This guy, Treston, he felt that it was a personal victory that they put a hold on the, on the lifting of the ban of, of gay marriage in his state, uh, Utah, because he's Mormon. Um, and, and even if... He acknowledges that he had no effect. He would still see it as a personal victory. So, using that as a gauge for how it's going to go down in Virginia, I really think that if somebody out there is devout enough and believes wholeheartedly enough, they could seriously hurt themselves. That is the power that these beliefs have over people. It causes them to forego their common sense and do things that are just fucking insane. Like starving yourself to have some kind of impact. Starving yourself so that, so that you can prevent other people from being happy. 
If I go and have a fight with my wife right after I make this video, it is not going to affect anybody's marriage. So whether or not I'm married to a man or a woman, it makes no difference. It has no fucking effect on your marriage or your life. So me personally, what I feel is going to come out of this is there's probably going to be some people hurt. There's going to be some people hospitalized. And it is going to have no effect whatsoever on, on any rulings about marriage equality. My advice would be wait for the appeal on May 13th in your state. And then accept the fucking decision. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please like, comment, uh, subscribe to me if you like uh, what I've got to say. Um, if you have time, please go to godlessengineering.com and check out uh, my blog posts. Um, I've started doing that since Facebook has decided to fuck every page that they have. Uh, uh, it, 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 you know, If you're not going to pay to promote posts to fake people. So uh, I've started posting on there as well as you know coming to YouTube and doing shit on here. So subscribe and and you'll get some really good content in the future because you know because Facebook is is going to be useless soon. Please go to godlessengineering.com, click on the blog post, uh, look at them, leave a comment, share them out, uh, get them everywhere. Thanks for watching.